All right, guys, so next we're gonna be doing the front gear sprocket, and then we're gonna be replacing a new gear shifter. So that is this episode. So it shouldn't be too crazy with um, doing this, especially like that exhaust. That was terrible. I'll leave the link in the description. So update to that, but the exhaust, matter of fact, it's right here. This exhaust I ordered off Amazon, right? Got a hold of the people. I measured it. Okay, in the description it said it was a 28 millimeter. I was like, okay, that'll fit. Well, it turns out the reason why it would not fit my pipe is that it was a 23 millimeter. So it was a little bit smaller than what I needed. And I basically got a hold of them. I was like, look, that's false advertising. Your listing said 28 millimeter. You sent me a 23 millimeter exhaust hole that does not fit my pipe. Can you please send me the correct one? So, you know, been waiting on their reply um, and go from there. Hopefully, if not, they give me my money back because that was basically false advertising they listed it as 28 and they sent me a 23 yeah but yeah we're gonna be replacing gear shifter which is a gold so i have an idea of making this like a black red and gold bike or black black red orange and gold all together so this is a gold looking Uh, basically gear shifter here's the original one right here this one is a little bit bigger so it'd be nice for my you know big feet <laughs> so this one is a little bit bigger should be a lot more comfortable shifting the gear next is a front gear sprocket now the front is I believe a 14 tooth so I went with a um, 17 tooth, either 16 or 17, I can't remember. But I went with like a couple more teeth just to give me more top end speed to make me go faster, but still keep that torque that I want. So, because with the 14 tooth, when I'm like on the road and I'm trying to get to a trail, it's like I'm winding my bike out, fourth gear, it's like screaming and I'm like, I feel like I'm barely moving. So, went with a bigger sprocket. Should give me a little bit more top speed to be able to get on the road quick and hit a trail. Then next, actually this I've seen somebody post on YouTube, very important. And I wish I would've got this day one when I got my bike, but this is a milli hour. This, this counts how many hours you have on the engine. You basically hook this sucker up to your spark plug, okay? You hook it up to your spark plug and then it tells you how many hours you put on the engine so that way you know when to change the motor oil. So yeah, I really wish I would've got this day one when I first got my pit bike, but I have it now. I'll probably um, change the oil in it here soon and just start kind of fresh with it so I know Hey, this is how many hours I have on the engine. Gives me an idea when to change the oil instead of guessing at it. All right, and the last thing is pretty important when you're on trails. That is hand guards. So this bike's gonna be a little bit of little bit of different colors. It's like gonna be like yellow, goldish, orange, red, and black bike. <laughs> like it's gonna be a mixture of colors. Um, but I'm trying to keep at least three or four collars all the same so and there's plenty more stuff that I'm getting for this bike as well so stay tuned for that but hand guards very awesome to have when you're on trails in case you run into like thorns or matter of fact a tree if you hit a tree this will protect your hands give you more safety than smashing your hand off of a tree this would protect it it's got a steel bar that goes across so yeah so these bolts holding the casing to get to the 
front sprocket is a eight millimeter on this bike. You can see it right there, eight millimeter. Yeah, so eight millimeter, gonna have to get this casing off. Even my air filter is like gold looking. <laughs> that was the only thing I really did on this bike was just put a better racing air filter because the one that came stock, it was horrible. So that was really the only thing I replaced on this bike. But now I'm just going all out on this bike and replacing pretty much aftermarket parts. So that one's kind of tricky to get in there. So I got my extender, which should give me, the longer this is, the more you have a better chance of getting it off. So you just pull it. Yep, see, came right off. See how easy that came off? And that, my friends, is the casing. So obviously we got a lot of residue going on here, grease residue. Ooh, that's actually, that's actually kind of loose. I'm actually kind of glad I got in here. Is uh, yeah, that's got some play to it. But anyway, that is our 14 tooth rocket and then you got the flywheel all right so obviously that means it's in neutral so we got to put it in gear all right so it's in gear it's not moving because when it was in neutral I couldn't turn this so now let's go ahead and Loosen up this bolt. All right, so the mount is mounted on there. So now you take this other screw, goes right through here. And then your, your little nut right there. And you just pretty much screw it right in. Pause on that. <laughs> there you go, zip tied on there. It works, you know what I mean? It sits there, it works. So now it's hooked up the way it should be. I have this red wire as well. I have some lights as well. So tuck that up in there. So that will light up red and all that. So heck yeah guys, those are the mods. Hope you guys enjoyed. I have more to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys. So the hand guards are put on. Now I've noticed, I guess because I got the cheap ones, these were like only like nine, ten bucks. Uh, these ones actually don't have the steel bar going across. Um, I guess if you pay more. You get the ones with the steel bar, which actually protects you. This, this could probably easily snap off since it's all plastic. But, you know, it probably, it probably would be pretty good with, um, like, going through bushes and, like, thorn bushes and stuff like that. To protect my hands and stuff like that. So, it ain't gonna protect me from hitting into a tree, but, like, bushes and stuff, yeah, it would, like, protect my hands from, like, getting scratched up and stuff. So, hand guards, uh, they were, like, nine bucks. Front sprocket, that was, like, another eight to nine bucks. And the gear shifter was another, like, eight dollars. So, you know, I didn't spend a whole lot. And then the exhaust which was a $25 exhaust. Um, I'm gonna see if they can send me the right one or get my money back on that. And then obviously, of course, the air filter. That's like five bucks. So, pretty cool mods on this 
for a cheap budget friendly so stay tuned for some more mods i'm out this thing and i'll see you guys in the next one peace